Well, summer is on its way where I live, and I got to thinking, what did my kids like when summer came? And our house, we always stocked up with ice pops or popsicles. So I thought it would be fun to make some for the dolls in the dollhouse. The kids that live in your dollhouse community would probably love these on a nice hot day. So stick around and I'll show you just how easy they are to make. All right, first let's talk about what we need. We need to make a mold. So we're using amazing mold putty. We've used this before, it's a lot of fun to work with. You need some different colors of chalk and this is a fun place to pull out all those bright colors of chalk that come in this big sets of chalks. We also need liquid polymer clay and I've had the best luck with the liquid Fimo. I know this is hard to find. Um, the liquid Sculpey is easier to find but I haven't had very good luck with Sculpey in this particular project but if that's all you've got give it a shot. You'll need some flat toothpicks, and for this project, you absolutely need the flat ones, not the round ones, because we need this little flat end. <clears throat> You'll need something to mix up your Fimo, your liquid clay with your chalks. I like just bottle caps. And to make a mold, you need some of these, or at least one, screwdriver bit, like goes in a screwdriver, like goes in your screwdriver, so that you can change out some of the fun round shapes. We'll talk about this in a minute. And you'll need a baking surface and a work surface, a tile, paper plate, whatever you're comfortable using, and of course the oven to bake it off with. So stick around and I'll show you how easy this is. All right, our first step will be to make the mold to actually make our little popsicles in. And to use that we need a screw bit. These are the kind that go on to those screwdrivers that you use to fix things around the house that have the, the little bits, the little ends that change out. And you can use any of these. I've got several different shapes here that you want one of the rounder ones. Um, don't try to use a blade screwdriver tip because that's just too flat. It doesn't look right. Today I'll use this one. It's kind of cool. It's got kind of a neat shape. And the other thing we need this amazing mold putty. And just a hint, as your mold putty gets down low, so because I'm almost out, I uh, make sure I snap my caps on tight and I stick them upside down. That way it's just easier to reach the mold putty when I go to use it because I found it was going clear to the bottom of the little tub and that's a long ways to reach. So we need, we've used this before on videos. It's, I love using mold putty take equal parts of the two colors and knead them together. It's really soft and supple. It's, it's really nice to work with. It feels good. And we're just going to knead this together until we get pretty much all one color. You, you don't want streaks of dark yellow and streaks of the white or gray color. You want all a con pretty consistent yellow color. I'm going to make kind of a kind of a little shape like that. And I want it pretty pretty flat on the top. It needs to be deep enough that I can push this in about this far. Um, and you could do this for Barbie size. If you want to do Barbie size ones, then use the bigger screwdriver bit. This one's a little smaller. I'm going to use it for 112 size. And just push this down. And once again, make sure this is nice and steady and let it sit for 20 minutes until this mold is dry. Now one hint, use only the little screwdriver bits with the short piece on them. I had some longer ones and they would just go flop and flop over when those before the mold was dry. So let's let this dry and then I'll be back. Alright, this is sat up for plenty of time. It's nice and firm. Just pull this out and now we have our mold. So now let's think about what we're going to fill this with to make our popsicles. So let me get set up for that and I'll be right back. Right. We're going to use transparent liquid Fimo. Now I tried using some liquid Sculpey and mine that I did out of liquid Sculpey didn't work at all. So if you've got, if that's all you've got and you want to try that, go ahead and, you know, you can go ahead and try it. But for me, I just ended up with a mess that didn't come out of the mold right and didn't work. So I like to work with my liquid clays in a bottle cap. 
and I'm just coloring it with a piece of chalk today. It's a good use for some of those other colors that we don't use so much when we are doing our foods, like our baked goods and stuff. Because scrape it in here. And we are going to stir it. And what we want is we want this to tint it. Now remember popsicles or ice pops or whatever you call them at your house come in all different colors. I've seen them in purple and blue and red and orange and yellow and green and I don't know probably other colors too that I'm not thinking about right now. So this is this is just fun. It's a real colorful project that you can work on. Let's get this mixed up. And now we're going to take this and we're just going to fill it up with our liquid female. And we're going to try and get it up to the top. And I don't bake these right away. I let them sit. And also, someplace on my work surface, where did it go? There it is. I have a pin. And I'm going to drop, I'm going to stick the pin in here. And push that back off of it again. Because we want to get as much of the air out of the bottom of here as we can because if there's a big old air bubble in here it's not going to look nice. So I like to let it sit. And there's a little tiny air bubble there. Let the air kind of pop up to the top. After it sits for a while, five, ten minutes or so, then bake it. <clears throat> I've been baking these at 265 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. The end of 15 minutes, we need to come right back and we need to do the next step. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, bake it, and then I'll be right back. While our popsicles bake, we need to get our sticks ready. So we're using flat toothpicks and we're using the skinny end of the flat toothpick. And we need to keep a hold of this so we don't lose it. And I'm cutting off, uh, that's probably, where's my ruler? I've dropped my ruler. It's probably about a half inch, three fourths of an inch off the end. There. We need to keep that where we can find it because we'll need this immediately after they come out, after our popsicle comes out of the oven. This is nice and warm from the oven. So I'm going to poke this down. I see I had an air bubble come up to the top. So that's easy enough to fix. We can actually just add some more of our clay. If you don't get an air bubble, you don't need to add more clay at this point. But since I have one, I'm going to add a little more and then I'll just rebake it. There. I'm going to stick it back in the oven for about five, well, probably about ten more minutes. And then I'll be back. Alright, so this is baked again. And let's see if we can pop it out. Yes! And there. We have, oops, there. We have an ice, uh, ice pop. Let's see if I can get closer. There. See? That looks pretty darn cool. Now I still need to trim the sides here. And to do that, sometimes you end up with this little bit because I overfilled. Oops, where's my. There's my camera. So I'll just take a pair of scissors. And kind of trim it up, get it a little neater. And you can make a whole bunch of these, and all the kids in your dollhouse neighborhood can enjoy them on the next hot day. So I'm going to make some more of these. I've got some other shapes I can make, and then I'll take a picture, and I'll put it on the end of the video. All right, here's the finished product of my day's worth of making all of these different ice pops. I made a bunch. I not only used the mold that we made, but I made 
an additional mold and then using all of the different screwdriver bits I showed you at the beginning I actually made one with a whole bunch in so I could pour a whole bunch at once. Now a couple of hints. If even after letting them sit a lot of times they'll sink and you'll get a big air bubble. Go ahead and fill in with your next color and you'll get a two color pop. If your stick does not want to stay in your pop these, for the most part, I just stuck them in hot, let them cool, and they were, st and the sticks have stayed just fine. A few didn't, and for those, I pulled the stick out again, dipped it into some liquid Fimo, and stuck it back in the oven for about three minutes, and let them cool, and they're fine. These are all trimmed up, so that's, you know, we've got a lot of variety here. I think the kids in the dollhouse neighborhood will really enjoy all these. I'm going to take a picture of the dolls with the um, with their ice pops and I'll put that here at the end of the video so have fun with the project be sure and find us on Facebook if you make one, this project or one of my others be sure and post a picture and let me know how it turned out I'd love to see what you're doing until um, next time have fun with those minis bye